Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 17. Let's learn how we'll use derivative to find maxima and minima of a particular function. Application of derivative to find maxima and minima of a function. So in this whole chapter, we'll use the concepts of derivative to find maxima and minima of a function. To find maxima and minima, you will find turning points of the graph. The turning point of the graph generally will give you maxima and minima. Also, we can find the absolute maxima and minima of a function. We'll tell you what is absolute maxima and minima and what is local maxima and minima. Just to start with, let's give you a fair idea. If this is my function, and this is an open interval function. Open interval in the sense, I don't know what is the um, domain starting point and end point. I don't know. There is some function and it has, let's suppose, the domain is all R, all real number. In that case, my function is like this. I don't even know what is the starting point and end point. So in such kind of functions, we generally find the turning point if it is differentiable. If differentiable and please note the derivative can be used only when the function is differentiable so if you is differentiable you find f dash x and if that is equal to 0 that is the turning point why because at this all these points if you see my slope is 0 all these points you see so the maxima, the local and max, maxima and minima in such case will be at the turning point only. If you see, the turning point, the slope is zero. So the first thing we can do is if you want to find the maxima or minima, local maxima or minima of the function, you can just find turning points where it is, uh, where the slope is zero. Once you have a turning point, you have the critical point actually, and then you can find whether that point is maxima or minima. Or we have other better way also to find that. We'll, we'll learn that, but just I'm trying to show you how to find local maxima and minima. The moment you talk about absolute, I talk about closed interval because see what happens is if I have my function like this, we have two turning points. But if you see the maxima is still this, it is not the turning points. The maxima is the end point. Maxima can be an end point, but when you talk about open interval, there is no end points, right? Because it says the domain is all R, there is no end point. But if you say in this case, I suppose the domain is 1 to 2. So you have end points. The moment you have end points, you can consider end points. And then you can give the absolute maxima and minima. See, the local maxima and minima is nothing but the one which you get from turning points. And the absolute maximum and minima is which you get by considering even end points also. So this is the difference between local maximum and minima and absolute. The only thing is when you talk about local maximum and minima, you talk about the open interval function where you don't have, you can't consider the end point because open interval. And you talk about absolute maximum and minima, you have the end point also. So you can consider the end points. So before we understand, before we uh, go more into this and uh, break our head. Let's understand first the real life application of maximum and minima and then we'll, like, I'll explain all these to you step by step. I'll take more examples to clear the concept. This was just an introduction of um, you can say derivative and a differentiation between the local maxima and minima and the absolute maxima and minima. In absolute maxima and minima we have the closed interval so we can consider endpoints. In local maxima and minima it's open interval so we can't consider. So let's say take some real life application of maximum and minimum. You have this factory and you have, you produce some goods actually, let's suppose, and the cost of some product Px is uh, determined by some formula, let's suppose, Ax square plus Bx plus C, where ABC are some variable cost. For example, cost of labor, cost of electricity, cost of raw material, something like that. So if I have the formula, I want to find the maximum cost or the minimum cost. What is the maximum cost of the goods? Or the minimum cost of the goods? How can I optimize such kind of stuff? We can use maximum and minimum. If you have, if you are you know, standing and there are enemies in front of you, 
and they are standing in some particular path right with that path if you want to find distance distance right so if you know the function of this path let's suppose fx y is equal to fx some function and if you can find the distance also in a function then with the maximum and minimum you can find which is the nearest enemy whom I can shoot because this guy is far this is near if you want to find who is the nearest enemy you can use that so in military purpose also they use sometimes maximum and minimum to find which is the nearest target so that we can hit the nearest target easily if you have a ball let's suppose you want to throw the ball it goes up it comes down there's a maximum value it goes up right and then it comes down you have to find the maximum point the maximum peak where it reaches you can use here also the maximum and minimum you have the sales trend graph or the profit graph it's already in the graph you want to find the maximum profit let's say it's a profit graph for a per company you want to find the maximum profit minimum profit such kind of stuff also you can do using maxima and minima you have this square shape let's suppose square or rectangle shape aluminium plate right and now with this you want to make a cuboid or cube so if you see you can make like this you can cut this in this fashion and then you can fold this guy you can if you fold this guy if you take this guy up this guy up this guy this, this guy up this guy up there's any way we can so what you get is this kind of figure right so here also if you see we can use maxima and minima if you want to find the maximum volume of the cuboid or the maximum surface area those kind of stuff we can use maxima and minima so a lot of places in our real life we can use maxima and minima actually so if you have let's suppose one big sphere from this you want to make small small spheres right and you want to find the optimum area with which the maximum surface area is there for the total small small surface a small small sphere in such case also we can use maxima and minima so these are some real life application of maxima and minima in our real life so let's understand the terms used first before we go to the topic if my f is a function on interval l and then f is said to be a maximum value if there exists a point c c in this l the c is a member of l where you take fc that guy has to be greater than or equal to any point fx any point for all fx any fx that guy is greater then that guy is called fc is called maximum value and c is called point of maximum value for example this is my graph if you see this guy is called c and this guy is called fc so this guy is the maximum value so you take any point in this graph fx any point you take this guy this guy this guy this guy fc has to be greater than any of these points so this is called maximum value fc is called maximum value and c is called point of maximum value similarly in case of minimum also same thing let's suppose this is c1 this is c2 let's suppose so this guy is this guy is nothing but f of c2 this guy is the minimum value why you take any point in this graph f of c2 is less than f of x you take any x so c c2 is called the minimum point of minimum value and f of c2 is called minimum value and then there is something called extreme value extreme value is nothing but a general term for maximum and minimum value so if you have this kind of function if you see so both are extreme values the way we find is to find extreme value is very simple you just differentiate this guy if the slope is zero that is extreme value correct so extreme value is a general term for maximum and minimum value also we will learn that it is extreme values happens not only at slope zero there are other places also for example see this was uh, anyway we will we'll discuss those things I will tell you if you want if this is my graph like this right so this is also if you see the maximum and minimum these are also extreme values sometimes the graph is not differentiable and then if you see the graph is something like like this if you see this point the graph is not differentiable this is fx is equal to mod x and this it is not differentiable here also extreme points can lie so extreme value can either lie at f dash x is equal to 0 that is turning point not differentiable area where the points where the graph is not differentiable not differentiable points or my end points 
So these are the points where actually I can have maxima or minima. Correct. So extreme points are nothing but a general form of maxima and minima. So extreme points can be maxima, extreme points can be minima. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.